Hello, this is the Mr. Gamer King Don B, or the Game King Don B. Today's date is Saturday, July 28th, 2018. I'm pretty sure you can look it up. I'll have a link for Blender 3D in the description below. It's a website you can visit. You can download Blender absolutely free and friendly to use and things like that. I've been basically using Blender pretty much all my life for making uh, 3D games and things like that. I know the um, unregistered Bandicam it, splash screen is uh, covering things up in here, but you have to be in Blender Game, so I am in Blender Game. Like so, and I'm basically going to show you in a short tutorial how you can get your character to reload a gun and how you can get the empty to stop spawning bullets. Hold up. What? Alright, I'm back. So I've already went ahead and added a text, which is going to be the ammo counter. So I'm just going to call it ammo, like so. And since I'm not going to convert this, and how to convert it, all you have to do is go to object, go all the way up to convert to, and then you have to click on convert, or mash from curve, made out surf, and text, which I'm not going to do. And then you can change the object color to whatever you want to. I mean, you can change the object color of your uh, text, but it won't show up in game. It'll just show up white like it is. So to fix that, you want to scroll all the way down in the material tab and option and check on object color. And then in options, you have uh, under display the color here, and then you can change the color of your text to whatever you want to. You know, it's good for, you know, ammo counters and, you know, health counters and, you know, score counters and things like that without, you know, changing it to an object because it's not an object quite yet. So I've already went ahead and for this empty here, just went ahead and set up a state property here. So I have a state to can't shoot here, which I kind of messed up on a name. It used to be a two. So yeah, I got state goes to two or it can't shoot. And then in state two can shoot where it will allow the uh, bullet to come out of the gun. If I press P to play, it's just going to shoot all willy-nilly for as long as you want him to shoot. But we're basically going to show you how to reload a gun. Um, I haven't exactly set up an animation of how you can run and reload the gun at the same time and how to move and reload the gun at the same time like you see in professional games. You're just going to have to stand there and reload the gun and then continue on moving and stuff like that. Like I said, I know Blender front to back and everything like that. So let's just go on to our um, text ammo counter here. Just click on that. And I already have the logic editor set up here just to make it short because I only have like a 10 minute limit with Bandicam. So you want to change that to uh, integer after setting up a uh, text game property. Over here, we're going to set up an always. Okay mindy distractions in the background <laughs> so we're just gonna call that uh, reload counter and always and over here under actuator we're gonna set up three uh, properties one is gonna be the reset property the other one's gonna be the ammo property and then the other one's gonna be the no ammo property so I'm just going to quickly rename things right quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so basically what I've done is I added all three uh, add game properties over here in the text logic properties here. This one is going to be the reset ammo counter. This one is the lose ammo counter. And you want to set the same value minus one into the sensor property for the no more ammo counter so it doesn't uh, count past that number. I meant to tack that to there. Add another add property. And add a keyboard sensor for tutorial purposes. Like so. And tack that to there like that. Okay, I was just trying to set up a, a pause hotkey for Bandicam unregistered so I don't have to keep um, clicking and opening up the program and hitting pause within the program itself. 
So basically what I've done is I set up in the uh, text logic properties the uh, properties you see here and things like that. And like I said before, when you're setting up a lose ammo property, you want to set the same value minus one into the uh, center property down here minus one so that it doesn't count past that number when you play the game and the Blender game engine. So if I hit the embed player and I hit the space bar, It'll go down to zero and it won't go past that point until the gun is reloaded. So, we're going to click on the empty bone inside a uh, character skin mesh and we're going to add an add game properties here. We're going to change string to integer. We're going to put in the start frame of when he reloads the gun, which is 120 like so and over here I'm going to add another property I'm just going to call it reload keep the elevation as equal I forgot to name it reload like so and then add in the value 160 which is the end of the reloading animation for your uh, character. Now over here you want to add an action under actuator for your armature bones inside the skin mesh and we're gonna put the amateur action in there and call it reload as well and it's very very important I'm gonna zoom in close enough so you guys can see you have to add in the game property, you have to add in the frame property or else it won't work. So you want to add in the same frame property as what you created over here in the add game property. So that's important or else it, nothing will happen. So, yeah. Okay, there's going to be a part two to this video. Uh, like I said, I'm using Bandicam unregistered. It's about to be eight minutes and Bandicam stops at 10 minutes so there's going to be a part 2 to this video which will be a short part 2 so I'm just going to keep it recording and from there you want to select your ammo and shift select the uh, armature bone and select the armature bone inside your skin mask and select your ammo uh, text counter and we're going to tack some things up like so so basically I'm just going to close out of all of these because we all know what they do. If not, you can always start the video from the beginning. And um, I believe the, the reload here, this goes all the way up to here because that's the end of the animation of the reloading. And as for the action reload, we want to set it to no more ammo so we can just simply tack that from there from the text property all the way down to the amateurs property to there like so and that should work so I'm just gonna hit the embed player oh yeah that happens hmm. let's make it an actor make it a ghost or if you want to you can just set it to a uh, sensor detect actor He's not reloading the gun. Give me a second here. It's already eight minutes, so it's going to be part two to this video. So, okay, this is part two. I'm still in the Blender game engine. I know that um, Bandicam has a splash screen here, and I only have like a ten-minute limit. I don't know why I did that. Let's go back to the logic editor. So we're just going to leave off from part one. So basically what we've done here is we're trying to figure out why the character isn't reloading the gun. And so I'm just going to go to the character's armature bone. Armature. Oh, I didn't set up the uh, animation start and end. So yeah, it's very important to set that up. At 120 and 160 is the end of the reloading animation like so. And you can keep it as play if you want to and that should work so we're just gonna hit the embed player or you can hit the P on the keyboard and that'll also work too so if I hit the spacebar you'll see here reload the gun and it'll reset it to 10 or whatever number you set it as it works every time but 
What if you want the bullets to stop coming out of the gun as he's reloading because it's still coming out of the gun like so? To fix that, it's really easy to do. We're just going to uh, select the empty that's spawning the bullet that is moved the multiple layer over, like so. So if I click on it, that's the, there's the bullet moved the multiple layer over. And we're just going to click this and shift select the ammo text counter, like so. And we're just going to do some hooking up. So we're done with that. So yeah, we have uh, state two can't shoot, so we're just going to attack that all the way from the text logic property to there. And then we're just going to move a state over in the uh, empty um, logic property like so. And we're just going to simply tack the uh, amateur properties reload to where he can shoot. So we just tack it like so. And it's simple as that. So yeah, you just tack the uh, the uh, amateur inside the skin matches uh, reload property to the empties uh, spawning properties like so so it won't be able to shoot unless the gun is reloaded and then we just simply hit the embed player once again and as you see no ammo is coming out of the gun unless it's reloaded and that's basically how you do it see So that is pretty much it on how you can get your character to reload a gun, but the only problem is I can't animate the character to run and walk and reload the gun at the same time he's walking and running and things like that. I'm still trying to figure that out. Well, this has been Mr. Gamer King Don B or the Game King Don B. Thanks for watching, even though it's an update on how you can get your character to reload a gun from that other video that had music in the background and things like that. Um, once again, I'm using my um, PlayStation 3's chat headset, which cuts down on, well, white noise and things like that. So, yeah, I'm sticking to this headset from now on, even though it's picking up on background noises that you might hear in the background and things like that. So, yeah, thanks for watching.